Welcome to Grumblings of the Gaming Grignard. I'm Tom. I play in an online game every other week, the opposite week from the Carpathian Adventure. It consists of a DM plus four players. I'm one of the players. Our last session, one player was on holiday with his wife. Several weeks prior, he told us he would be away. All good. With me, there should have been three players remaining. Still good. However, the other two players were no-shows. Not cool. Not their first time ghosting us either. Doubly not cool. Our DM posted a message in our Discord chat directed at them that said, Are you guys coming? No response. One player remaining. Me. The DM and I chatted and waited for the better part of 40 minutes. He admitted he's too much of a softie. I agreed, then bit my lip. The following day, I spoke with some other folks regarding this incident. Apparently, and unfortunately, it's not uncommon, particularly in online games. What the heck? It's not uncommon for players to ghost their DM and fellow players? We play for fun, and I get that real life sometimes intervenes. I also get that sometimes some folks just might not be up for a session on a given night. They might need a night off. But to no-show with no communication? Why is that acceptable to some folks? In my opinion, it's not acceptable. Committing to something and not showing without communication is incredibly disrespectful. Doing show demonstrates a lack of concern for the time the DM invested to prepare a session for you. It demonstrates a lack of appreciation for the time everyone else dedicated to participate. It demonstrates an indifference to the other family members and things that everyone else set aside to participate in the session. It says, I value my time, but I don't value your time. Back to our online group. The DM later discovered that one of the two ghosters was playing a video game called Pathfinder Kingmaker Definitive Edition during our D&D session time. His status was clearly indicated in Discord. Totally not cool. The next morning, the other ghoster posted, Sorry guys, I overslept. Again, for neither ghoster was it the first time. Without a real wake-up call, I suspect it was not going to be the last. Our DM is a nice guy, in my opinion, often too nice. However, enough was enough. We are judged by our actions, not our intentions. The ghoster's actions were unacceptable. Our DM booted both from the group. I applaud his decision. At the same time, we're down to two players. There may or may not be another session. However, at the end of the day, we play D&D to have fun. With that, no D&D is better than bad D&D. I will end my diatribe there. Please like, subscribe and roll a seven-sided die.